Hey everyone, so I got a request from one of my clients to take this image here and clean up the floor. And as you can see, the, the floor was not clean when we got there. And so there's a lot of footprints, there's a lot of stuff on it. And quite frankly, it gets to the point where we can't actually clone stamp out all the stuff or use content to wear. And so we've got to find another technique to be able to get rid of all of that. And the easiest way to do that is probably going to be just to replace the flooring. And to do that, we're going to use this image here. And I'm going to take those, open both of those up in Photoshop. And I'm going to replace the flooring from this one using the flooring from this one here. All right, stay tuned. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go and grab the floor from this kitchen image, the source image. And to do that, I'm going to use the object selection tool, click on that, and then just select all that flooring and it gets it pretty well. From there, I'm going to right click layer via copy. And you'll notice here we got a new cop new layer here with just the flooring. I'm going to put that up to my very top. I'm going to show where my target is and First thing that we're going to do is we are going to flip this so that it it is uh, going in the same direction as our actual flooring. Now that looks good and you'll notice that the plank size is different and that happens because of course with the kitchen shot we were further back than we are in this entryway shot. So I'm just going to uh, hold down shift and pull this and make my planks roughly around the same size. With this I can't take this image and just uh, mask it into where the flooring is on the lower one because the perspectives are different. I shot the kitchen shot at a different uh, the focal length at a different distance so the angles aren't gonna match and why I'm gonna use um, one of my favorite tools called vanishing point to make this work now with vanishing point if you haven't already watched the video uh, I've got another one using uh, a Rubik's cube to illustrate how vanishing point works take a look at that it'll explain a lot about the different planes that you got to do but in here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make this room look like we got uh, two walls, the floor, and then the ceiling. And the ceiling I'm going to make into a separate plane. I'm actually going to make it into this new hardwood floor. So it looks, it's going to look like we got hardwood floor on the ceiling, hardwood floor on the, the, uh, the floor. And we're going to copy the ceiling pattern onto the floor using vanishing point. So to start, I'm going to grab my floor that we're going to use to Photoshop in. I'm going to take that. I'm going to transform it. I'm going to just rotate it 180 degrees. So now it's going to be ceiling. Grab that, take it all the way up to the top. Good. And now, oh, here's one of my favorite uh, shortcut keys. It is shift option command E. And what that does is it creates a completely new layer that's flattened with all the other information that's there. So it's like taking a, a screenshot of what you've got and making that into a brand new layer. Uh, very handy if you do a lot of um, editing. Okay, now we're going to go into vanishing point. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create the ceiling plane. And to start, I'm going to zoom out by going command minus, grab that grid and Now you'll notice as soon as you make the, put those four points, it creates this sort of grid. And you can change the grid size by simply moving this slider up on the top left. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and align those grid lines so that it matches up with the planks on the, uh, the flooring. And the closer I can get this to being accurate, the better my cloning will be. I think that looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like the lines of the grid are lining up with the lines on the hardwood floor, so that works. Okay, so there's my ceiling plane, and now I'm gonna create another one uh, down here. And for this one, let's see now, let's move that there. Here, does that look about right? 
Let's zoom in and see. Okay, it's still not quite right there. So there we go. Now, now the lines all look like they line up. Good. All right, now let's try this. So I'm gonna grab my uh, clone stamp tool here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the wood here, go down to here, and you notice it flipped. And now I've got a perfect bit of cloning that I can do to just get rid of all of that additional flooring that we don't need. Now, you'll notice that obviously I'm coloring outside of the lines and that's not really good because I'm getting rid of the stairs and everything. But for now, that's all right. We're done here. I'm gonna go to okay. I'm gonna turn off that layer. I'm gonna go down to the layer that I've got my, uh, my original one that I have to Photoshop. I'm gonna use that object selection tool again and this time I'm gonna select the flooring down here. Now that I've got that, go up to the top layer, show it, there's a new floor, create a mask, and voila, we are done. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them below and be sure to click on like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And make sure that you click on that little bell so you get notified every time we put up a new video here. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I can be found at Rob Morodo. And for those of you who want some more advanced techniques on Photoshop, some free presets and actions, join us on patreon.com slash Rob Morodo. That really, really helps me out, helps me fund all of this and keep on putting on some free content onto uh, these platforms. So please do join me there. That's patreon.com slash Rob Morodo. And until next time, take care and have fun shooting.